Hundreds of state laws will go into effect tomorrow that could affect you and your family. Along with the state budget, which slashes billions, nearly half of the 1,400 laws passed by the legislature in the last session will go into effect September 1st. Our political reporter Josh Hinkle has more on seven of them to watch. Number one. Texas is waging a war on feral hogs from the air. The pork chopping law allows hunters to rent seats on helicopters and shoot wild pigs while flying above. It's estimated two million of the animals live in the state, and one Houston company is already gearing up to charge for this hunting option. Number two. Minors who sexed could face misdemeanor charges and jail time for repeat offenders. Before this law, sexting cases were either dropped or handled under adult porn laws. Now kids and their parents must attend a class about sexting dangers and maybe have the conviction removed when they turn 18. Number three. Schools now need written approval from parents to use corporal punishment on students. Texas is one of 19 states still allowing paddling in schools, though a handful of districts have banned it. Number four. The state can now move highway speed limits up to 75 miles per hour if studies say it's safe. Also, no more 65 mile per hour speed limits at night or for trucks. Number five. High schools must get rid of football helmets older than 15 years and recondition some others getting close to that age. Number six, gun owners can bring their weapons to their work parking lots during company hours if they keep them locked in their cars and if it's not at school or a federal building. Number seven, pets can now have protective orders. It all came about when domestic abuse victims started complaining their abusers were injuring or even killing their pets, which can now mean a class A misdemeanor. Also keep an eye on two of Governor Rick Perry's emergency items. Part of the controversial voter ID law goes into effect tomorrow, but full implementation goes into effect on January 1st. It would require voters to present a photo ID before they cast a ballot at the polls. And this week, a federal judge struck down parts of the sonogram law, which was supposed to go into effect tomorrow. It aims to make doctors perform a sonogram before an abortion. The judge said it violates the free speech rights of both doctors and patients. In the studio, Josh Hinkle, KXAN News.